Right. Hello, YouTube. <clears throat> Welcome to a quick Unity tutorial. I was asked in a comment on a how-to for interfacing a joystick with Unity. And the example here is we have this uh, spaceship. And when I make it go left, the joystick will also move left. When I make it go right, the joystick will also go right. And yeah, so the context here is we built a device, let's say with Arduino, in this case it's running a Teensy, but we can talk to it with Arduino. And on the device end, it's pretty common to just have something that you're using serial commands to talk to. So in this case, I can make it go uh, right, I can make it go left, I can turn it back into a center spring. And so we're talking to it by just typing in commands and then putting in a number. And in this case, in order to connect it to the ship, uh, we'll just do a simple example where we're telling it where the center is using a value from 1 to 100. So it's a percentage. So when the x center is at 10%, the center value is now to the left. And I'm going to use that to interact with the spaceship. So I'll make it go back to the center, back to the center. So we'll close down Unity, start from scratch. New project, serial example, two. And for this case, in order to get the spaceship, someone else did that. You can actually buy it in the asset store for $30 called Space Journey. So I'm going to add that asset, create the project. And the first time you load it, it'll probably take about five minutes. So I'm just going to speed through the video here. So I finally loaded. We can see that the space journey asset is all in this folder here. Now it's using this uh, pre made scene called Ship Fly One. So if I click play, so right now we're at the default, and if I go left and right, we can see that nothing is happening. And so the way we're going to go about this is just sneak into where the script is for the ship one controller. So if we go to ship one over here, we're going to edit this script. All right. So all we're going to worry about in this case is The variables it's declaring as public right here. Um, and most Unity functions will always have something that gets run when it starts up. So this is the awake function. And this gets run as an update function all the time. And we want to interact with the position. And there's a convenient function called update orientation and position. And that's where we can uh, convert the spaceship convenient. Uh, convert the spaceship position in Unity to a serial command. So now it becomes, how would you talk to any serial device using a C or C sharp? And to do that, you need these header files. You'll notice at first, it doesn't recognize this one. And the reason for that is back in Unity, you have to go to File or Edit, pardon me, Project Settings. It's in the Player Settings. And down here, under configuration, right now it's just using a subset of functions within .NET. You want all the functions. 
And you notice it'll take a while uh, to load. If you go back, it still doesn't recognize it. Pretty sure I had to restart this the first time I did it, so I'm going to exit it. Go back to the ship. And you can see that error has now gone away, and it recognizes it. It recognizes uh, that it can use these functions. The significance of that is that now, as a public variable, we can define a serial port, and we're going to call it port 1. And then also, in order to define, uh, in order to define the X center, I'm just going to be lazy and create a separate float and integer variable for it that we're going to use later on. Float is to do the calculations and Unity, and the integer is because the Arduino device only reads an integer. So all we have to do is go to the awake function and tell it to open a serial port. And all that takes is this line of code. So I'm going to say port one, we're going to call it a new serial port. We'll need to tell it to talk to COM7. So if you're familiar with Arduino, each device will have a COM port associated with it. In this case, the device is COM7. And we have to make sure we explicitly open it. So port one dot open. And then we go down to where we can access the orientation of the spaceship. And I kind of just found through trial and error that a good value to use would be this one. And before we do anything with the device, I'm just going to print it to the console so we can get some feedback that we're looking at the right value. You can see right now nothing's getting printed to the console. I'm going to rebuild it and see if that changes anything. Okay, I had to restart the program, but we can see it's working now. When I go left, we have a negative value. When I go right, we have a positive value. It seems to vary roughly between negative 1 and 1. We go back to our ship. So all we have to do to talk to the device is first I'm going to create an integer that turns that negative 1 to 1 to a value from 1 to 100. And then this line here, port 1 dot right line, x center, underscore 100% plus the value that we just converted to be from in between uh, 0 and 100 is the exact same thing as if I were to open up the serial port here and say uh, x center you can see it just moved So instead, we're going to have the program do it based on this function here that we converted from negative 1 to 1 to 0 to 100. And that should be all it takes. I just click no to those warnings. No. We can see when the spaceship goes left, 
joystick goes left and the space goes right, joystick goes right. And we're done.